Welcome to hell. Twice we've had him where we get like 10 minutes in and he forgot to hit the record on the audio. <laughs> Notice how that happened when we started drinking Manafark and beer. It's true. All right. <laughs> Hello, this is Emily and Justin of the band Dentist, and we're going to do some acoustic songs. Uh, this is called uh, Check the Calendar. Hello and welcome to the Jersey Shore Musicians Podcast. I'm Matt. That's Jeff. Hi. And tonight we have <laughs> Dentist. Yay, golf club. Thanks Hi. Club. Thanks for having us. Yes. Thank you. Did you guys make it here all right? Yes, it was uh, raining, but we made it here. Did you bring us the rain? <laughs> Maybe. Well, we need the rain, though. The rain is Actually, good. Actually, uh, Dentist is known to bring the rain. Most, oh. most shows that we have outdoors get canceled due to rain. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. I get uh See how that's a bummer. Mm-hmm. So, um, let's hear the name dentist and why. Is somebody a dentist? No. Great it, opening question. <laughs> it's I not, can't. I can't wait to crack an egg open on this one. <laughs> it's uh, It's not very interesting. We were 
<laughs> trying to figure out what our, our band name would be. And we were thinking of things, Google searching, seeing what was taken. And there was no band called Dentist at the time. Um, apparently there is now besides us. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. So some get other people made that bad decision. <laughs> um, but we get a trademark and send them a letter. I know. I've been thinking about that. <laughs> um, so anyway, we just thought it was funny. Yeah. Okay. That's Although it. I'm pretty sure the word dentist is already trademarked somewhere. Yeah. Probably by a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some people, some people really hate our band name. Like they'll go out of their way to tell us that's like the worst band name. Mm-hmm. Probably but their it's a scary band name. Yeah, well, because they're, they're like, why would you name your? Ba- oh, you know who said they don't like it? John it's- Stewart. No, 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 okay. not John Stewart. Steven Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Oh, right. We we have a friend that um plays plays drums for Steven Tyler in a, in his country band. Okay. And um. So it got around where our band name was. I think I think our other friend was wearing one of our shirts, and he went out of his way to say that's a terrible band name. Mm-hmm. But that way, Steven Tyler noticed your band. That's true. I know, and it's done a lot for us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Steven Tyler. <laughs> yes, thank you. You're stellar. Oh, that's great. So, how long have you guys been around for? Uh, well, we released our first album ten years ago. Okay. About so, no, uh, twelve. Yeah, oh, okay. something like that. So like it was like Hurricane Sandy, and then all of a sudden like, hey, let's form a band. <laughs> we were. We, uh, uh, that's the algorithm. <laughs> we can edit that out. I I think we started writing songs, uh, like right before Hurricane Sandy, because I I remember that we were writing them in that apartment, but we that was when I wasn't talking right into the mic. That's when the the band uh, was kind of a joke to us. Almost we're just, and that's kind of when we had the band name Dentist. We weren't really taking it seriously. Okay. So, um, but we we had been writing songs back in the day, but I guess, I guess we we started taking it seriously at the end of 2013. In okay. today's day and age, that's a that's a pretty good run. Yeah. You know, most local bands these days, you know, they they get three to five year clip and then they just disappear. We can't stop. It's kind of a problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with that problem. Uh, I guess. It's a good addiction. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's better than it's other therapeutic. Things. Yep. Sometimes. Well, not dealing with you. I'll right, tell you that right. I am special. I get that. Uh, <laughs> so we have what was it? What'd you say? One record out or no? <laughs> like ten? We have uh, <laughs> thirty-seven. <laughs> we released one million. <laughs> we released our fourth album uh, this past September. Okay. All right. It's awesome. And it's all on um, the usual digital stuff, where mm-hmm. it's like Spotify, your favorite, mm-hmm. Spotify, Apple. Apple's okay. Why do you, you hate them so much? I do. I hate Spotify. It's well documented. But you always say I have anger issues. You do. Not like that. No. They rob people, man. Well, you can't yeah, get down yeah. with that. Okay. So they here, do. we're going to settle the dispute. <clears throat> Would you rather have them rob you and still play your music for other people to hear? Or would you rather them rob you? And never play a show again. Those are two weird choices. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> Do we yeah, make you think here? <laughs> like, fuck. What drugs are they on? So, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're robbing us either way. Wait, what was the first one? They rob us. Exactly. They pe- rob you either way. People- so really get the song out there. Maybe somebody else will pay you. <laughs> I, I have a, a love-hate relationship with that kind of stuff. Like, I think it's great. That anyone could stumble upon our music mm-hmm. on a you know a platform like that, but also we don't get very much, for, mm-hmm. as as you know. Yeah. And um, they're not buying our album now because they can just get it for free. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, you should. I mean, that's there is that thing, but let's be honest: is anybody buying albums right now? We sell a decent amount of records. Okay, like actual records. Actual or, okay, records. actual Vinyl. records. Vinyl. Yeah. So that is that's a little niche right now. And mm-hmm. I heard actually tapes coming back in a weird way, like cassette tapes. I so. feel like that's been happening though for a while, so I'm not totally sure. Yeah, if it's the past yeah, couple of years, I mean, I've known a few bands that did like a limited release on cassette tape, and I'm like, mm-hmm. nobody even has a fucking place to play it. Like, what do you? Exactly. What are they gonna do with it? Yeah. So I've, I've even heard that CDs are coming back. So. Oh really? Well, they keep taking that's, them that's out of cars and shit. <laughs> I think it's all bullshit. Well, what do we? Yeah, we got the email from uh, 
CD Baby, Baby the other day saying that they're no longer distributing CDs oh. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, only digital. Terms. So it's it's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gone the way of the A-track. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It'll go hang out with the laser discs. Thanks for playing. Gen Z is going to bring it back. That's what I heard. I read an article. Oh. Oh, it's on the internet. It's kind yeah. of true. <laughs> yeah. Gen Z loves CDs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's a brand by? My thing, with, my thing think, with Spotify is I think, uh, they are the biggest corporation out there that does it. Mm-hmm. And they pay you the least. Yep. That shouldn't happen. I know. You know, if anything, I know it's only still going to be tenths of a penny no matter where you go. But if everybody else is at eight tenths of a penny, they should be at nine because they have the most traffic going through. (laughs) I know it's not a big difference, but like still, it's like if you're the biggest corporation out there, you shouldn't be giving people the least back. That's how they got to be the biggest. Mm. Oh, I know. I could still rail against it, though. Okay, well, you, you, you charge that field. I will. I do every fun week. time doing that. Too. Every week I do it. <laughs> so are, any plans of some new material? Yes. We've been thinking about it. I've been thinking. Okay. We've been thinking about it. So when you guys do think about it and come up with new songs, what is your guys' process as far as recording? Because you guys have a very um, a live-ish feel, shall we say? I don't know if that's correct, but you don't seem like the people The that, band live? <laughs> yeah, I keep selling the drama. Anyway, um, but um, you didn't get that. Oh, is that one of their songs? <laughs> no, it's their album. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, do you guys like? Was it like a click track drum machine, and then layer on top of it? Is it you try to go in and catch that we, natural feel? We do stuff. It it depends. Sometimes we'll we'll bring a song in to where we're gonna write it, and it'll be. Um, we just have the chords and the melody and then uh, we figure it out or there have been other times where we've demoed a song extensively okay. um, so, so it depends as far as recording though um, all the records that we did before the last one we just layered Okay. Um, the last one uh, making a scene we decided to play it all together and the only thing that came in last was the vocals. Okay. Yeah, and how did that? How such. do you feel that came out versus? Did it give it more of an organic, natural feel versus trying to layer everything and thicken it up? And yeah, because sometimes it, I just gets it becomes too much, and then okay. you're overthinking everything. And um, so this just felt more like a, it felt like the energy was there a little yeah. bit more. It captured that initial energy. Okay. That being said, I don't want to lie. There's Many guitar tracks on the album, but oh, okay, it was. Uh, <laughs> but the rhythm, the, the yeah, rhythm the, track, the was rhythm was live. live. No, but, but, well, we had the initial live tracks, and then you know the main thing that was added was was the vocals. But there's there was other stuff added. Okay, well, no, that's fair. I mean, it's it's not. We're out of the day and age of just hey, you know, here's one microphone hanging from the ceiling and and go. Mm-hmm. You know, like we're not Sinatra it up anymore and stuff like that. No one's that. singing in a tin can. Exactly. That's just it's not like happening. that one album you did. Not one person was ever in the same room as each no. other. They were in they're, different countries. One guy's, in, one guy's in Europe, the other guy's in California. Yeah. Well, that was a uh, postal service did it that way also, I believe. They mailed each other back and forth. That's why they're called postal service. Uh, yes. When they were actually using snail mail. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Impressive. I don't know if I could wait that long. Yeah, right. An email so much <laughs> my impatient. Oh my god! So, any plans for uh, some shows coming up this summer? Right, we're coming out with this. This will be out a month from today. Okay, so a month from today. Is there any good shows going? So mid June, mid, mid July, and on. Yes, we have a show at a place called. Not, it's not really a place. It's a house. Okay. The Kill Shot, which is in Tom's River. You've heard I was unaware place. of this. Yeah, I know. What's, what where, is it again? where is this? <clears throat> <laughs> She's like, hold on. I don't even know where this is. Do we have I, to bring an egg or something? <laughs> hmm. There should be an egg. There should be. <laughs> is it one of those things where you have to message them to find out yeah, the address? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So why don't you give the Instagram handle out? It's the kill shed. The kill shed. Mm-hmm. Oh, that just screams well, me going there for vacation. 
right? Yeah. But I've noticed a lot, a huge uptick in like house shows coming back. Like there's a place I live in Forkwood River, and there's a place called should they do it called the Oasis, and it's some dude puts shows in his basement mm-hmm. or his backyard, or mm-hmm. and they, every weekend they have bands there. You know, I I like that. I like it. it feels like. You know, organic. There's not like the lights and mm. yeah. the sound guys like pissed at you. You know, um, but yeah, it's that's a, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's part of the job requirement. It's uh, July 21st, and uh, we're very excited about it. At the Kill Shed. The Kill Shed. I kind of dig it. Okay, it works. You almost have to like call in and let us know how that went. Yeah, it gets your attention. The Kill oh, Shed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tonight at the Kill Shed. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Or it might be killer. <laughs> it could be killer. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> Again. But, um, but yeah, I'm not allowed go, to play with the buttons anymore. No. If All you right. go to the Instagram, you can get tickets in advance if you were interested in going. Okay. Oh, they didn't say how much the tickets were, huh? It's like that. It's like a secret. $25. $25. How many, like. And there's a bar. Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. That mm-hmm. makes a little more sense. You got to have a bar. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to have to do some research. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Careful, though. Yeah. That is a kill shed. It's true. Oh, that's great. I think it has something to do with the rabbits. I'm not sure. That's the impression I get. Rabbits? Oh. Hmm. So she says the impression I get, I go right to the Boston's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so many good jokes yeah. related to music that came out in the 90s. <laughs> it's the last great era of music. This is true. It was good. True. So what do you guys feel like is happening to the local music scene? From your vantage point. Yeah, because you guys are a little further north, right? You're not from around here. Asbury. We're, yeah. Okay. We're much more in tune with that scene than the... Okay. Not. Do, do you consider Times River having a music scene? No, not anymore. That's dead. Mm. They did? Asbury is closely following its footsteps, which yeah. from what I see. To being dead? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. Shit. Notice how there's a lot more cover bands in there. You notice how there's a lot more McMansions going up in there. Yeah. What do you think happened here? They're yeah, they're building a. I just heard they're building a whole bunch of like multi million mm-hmm. dollar condos yeah. on the beach. But know. if you guys you guys are in the scene a lot, like what is your vant or not vantage um, viewpoint on it? Because I've heard multiple things and other people being on here and genre is a genre, and I understand that because like maybe some. I'll say metal, it's it, whatever, but like a metal band is not going to go sit there and go play uh, um, McLoons or something like that. You sure. know what I mean? So, like, what is your guys' take? Because I know a couple guys in cover bands now that kind of like, I don't want to say infiltrated it, but they've definitely broken the barrier down. And now they're playing more times than any original band that I know up there. Yeah. I think it's, it's us, us living there. And like knowing everyone has helped us be in the scene. So I, I, I guess it almost feels like when we play a show more so often it's that we got asked to play than we booked a show. Okay. But then you have uh, venues like House of Independence and you know, they'll have a they'll have a metal show or whatever and they'll mm-hmm. put local bands on. Okay. Um but there isn't For like the small a price place. Of your soul. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, they have a low dive now, which used to be the Yacht Club, and they still do local shows there um, okay. every weekend. And well, uh, and the place that was Langosta Lounge still does local shows. Yeah, they changed too, right? They changed owners? Yeah, it's the same people. I, I forget it's what it's It's the same person as booking, booking the shows, though, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's still, even there, those two places are still very, I guess we'll say genre-specific. I think they can be. Um, Cause the only, like, I, I always claim that you know what got Asbury through the dark years mm-hmm. was metal and hardcore. Because mm-hmm. that's what, like, you go to the 90s, that, that's all you yeah. found. What was that venue that they had? And now... Uh, Where you know, someone like, shot someone? Yeah, that one. Oh, Club Deep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, even now, like the only place you're really going to get that is like Bond Street Basement. And that's really... Yeah. Oh, that's another it's really one. about it. You won't, they, won't, they won't book them anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad, but and you know another thing like on Cookman, you used to have live music everywhere, mm-hmm. and then the rich people moved in, and complained, 
and shut down the reason that Asbury oh. stayed alive, <laughs> you know. Oh, I remember when you used to fear for your life when you drove down <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you didn't stop at stop signs, you didn't stop at red lights, you just went. Ah, uh, yes. But yes, I've seen that pattern before and it has been literally like step by step. Like every year I keep seeing things and I'm just like and I didn't know about the saint. Now that's like, you know, that the, what's left it would be the pony and I know the Wonder Bar, they had that outside thing, they just sold that. So that's going to be some kind of condo next yeah, to the Wonder that's Bar. What I was so like really about, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. It's just like, okay, well, seen this before. But like, yeah, but yeah, and it has a cycle. Like you're going to build all these things, you're not going to have enough people to put in it because it, there's not that many bajillionaires that can afford this stuff. And then it's going to just sit empty, and then mm-hmm. it's going to crumble and fall apart. And it'll be as very it, old. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and it'll no. start over. Then, again. It'll, then it'll go down the way, and then the artists will move back in because it's cheaper to live there. Yep. And then it yeah. starts from the beginning and goes again. So things are actually going great. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know what, what you guys are talking about. Give it Every, another 20 years. We'll be coming. We're all going to die. <laughs> By the time we're 60, it'll be straight and narrow. Again. Oh, God. I was done t- five years ago. Never mind 60. I'll be like, fuck this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so where can everybody find you? Spotify. Spotify. Specifically. Ah, yes. Oh. Yeah. That's now, gold. That's good. <laughs> no, we have a we we have a band camp. Okay. So if you type in dentist band camp into Google, it'll come up. Okay. And, and that's where you can purchase our vinyl if you're so inclined. Um and other stuff that we have, shirts and whatnot. It's a good place to go, but you can stream our music uh pretty much any place you can stream music. Always yeah. always support the band camp, especially on the the, the free for all Fridays. Well, speaking of Spotify. And oh, no. Here we go. They. <laughs> Here we go. And this is also what I'm talking about with the other dentists that are out there now. Okay. There's a rapper called Dentist. <laughs> and his song is My Dick is Numb. <laughs> okay. So if you go to our Spotify and you look at like singles, we have a song. No, apparently. Th- they took that down, but you're, that did, was a thing. No, but there's still. He released another single and that ended up on we, there. We got it taken down. Uh, well, it's going to keep funny. happening. Yeah, it's it, it, apparently, the, the time that it happened last time, we were talking to uh, the guy from our label that we deal with, and he said that it was like a bot. Like bot, oh, okay. bots apparently make albums and just put the them. The bot named the album My Dick is Numb? No, not, <laughs> I don't know about that one, but, but the last time this happened was apparently due to a bot. <coughs> and I could see AI... Name, naming an album that <laughs> that's kind of funny yeah. well that's like was it like two or three weeks ago I got an email from somebody our, our other project our studio project is called Sonic Honey and uh, I get an email from him like he's like I'm an AR representative for the blah 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 I heard your song let, let me know LMK I'm like we don't have a song called that and then I looked it up and it's like three girls from Texas who sing like r and B. I'm like how do you even get that confused <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about the whole dick is numb and the AI fucking generation. Of it. <laughs> and that's a weird thing. I think I read about it's adapting AI gets humor. <laughs> <laughs> but I was reading about the whole AI thing, like how that's really knocking on the door of making music. Right. And I'm like, oh, we're so fucked. It's that's scary. awesome. It's scary. Is it? it yeah. It's scary to a point where they took, I think it was Sinatra's voice on a rap song and it. Like yes. was flawless. I heard yeah. it flawless, and I was like, "Yeah, we're so fucked." Well, well are... that's the thing. AI's create creating music and poetry and art, and what are we doing? Washing dishes now, mm-hmm. like the stuff that the robots were supposed to be doing. Now we're doing it. Terminator's yeah. taking over. Yep. I saw this thing the other day that it's it's actually been around a lot longer than most people realize. What's that? The so- AI. Okay. The song Clint Eastwood by the Gorillas mm-hmm. was completely made by AI like 15 years ago. Hmm. How so? It was just all pre-programmed stuff, and then a, a program just picked the drum beat, picked the bass beat, and just threw it all together, and they started singing over it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, th- now it's crazy because, like, um, I actually heard a couple, li- like, there's apparently a, an Oasis uh, AI album 
where they just yes, like, I listened to that. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's better than the real Oasis. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. it's, it's good. like the it's like if you like miss Oasis, that's the album that you want to listen to. It's okay, the Lost Oasis album. And okay. I'm not supporting AI, but it is pretty cool. That <laughs> that, that particular song. It, 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 it's in, it's interesting with with like older bands where, like they get, you can take a band and. It's like these are the songs that could have been or or something. It's interesting. I don't I don't like it, but it's it it is interesting. But it's it's even it's way worse if like people are going to start listening to music made by robots as opposed to like new artists and stuff. Well, if you think about it, most of the music that's out today that's extremely popular is made by robots. It's called a computer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. I mm. mean, most popular of- music is not played on instruments. There's a lot. It's of made in a program. Do. Yeah, you're That's not fair. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I congratulate you guys for actually playing your fucking instruments. That's great. Thank you. We're keeping it Just alive. Just thank you. <laughs> Just keeping it real over here. <laughs> uh, this song is called Let Me Let Go. So let's talk about some of like the promotional stuff that you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. No, I was I was just gonna say um, uh, if anyone wanted to uh, check us out or follow us on social media, just uh, our handle on everything is usually Dentist Band. 
Okay. So that's all I was going to say. Because it's a bad band name. Yeah. And you can't Google search dentist. That is true. If you Google uh, yeah, search, you'll right. never find you if you just search mm-hmm. dentist. Yep. Even dentist band can be hard because there's dental bands for like braces and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, that is priceless! Mm-hmm. I didn't even think of that. Wasn't it last week when we were talking? Oh yeah, we were talking to this band called Cult of She, and they changed their name to Cult C L U T T, because if you put in Cult of She, you get like nine million other things. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Or was it when they called themselves Roulette too before that, and then yeah, they realized they'd never like be that. found if they were called Roulette? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's it's amazing how that you have to think about that now before you actually just jump <laughs> off and go. Yeah. Well, we're. Whatever they said, dentist. roulette. And, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or are you just like yeah, dentist? If you're so unenthused with the name, why don't you change it? It's a little late at this point. Just, just make it a symbol, and you could be the band formerly known as Dentist. <laughs> if it was good for Prince, I mean, hey. <laughs> um, there was a point I wanted to, but everyone was like, "Don't do it." At this point, yeah. I mean, you're it's yeah. so dent- long now. Yeah. It's you know. Yeah, you I mean, especially so. now. Yeah. yeah, that was a few years ago, but. You know, I was, you know, I've been thinking about like, what if we just change it a little bit? Okay. Like, you can um, just take out the E, so it's right, D N T I S T. That's what I mean. Like something like so that. It's a specific spelling of it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yep. See, I have good ideas every once in a while. Every once in a while, you do come up with something at least decent. I got a gem every once in a blue moon. Ah, uh, jeez. You'll be hearing about that one for weeks. Hmm. <laughs> Boy. All right, so we got your CDs, your handle on social media. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about before he asks you his infamous last question? I, th- I think um, if, if you have any uh, Pennsylvania listeners, we'll be playing Music Fest this year. That's in uh, sometime in August, I believe. I don't have the exact date, but you can look it up. We're playing the same day as Weedis, so if you like Weedis... That's a name, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. I like Weedis. They were all right for their time. They're still all right. <laughs> He's like, they're still all right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we ha- we're playing Music Fest and then The Kill Shed um, on the July. Kill shed. The Kill Shed. <laughs> the Kill Shed. <laughs> on July 21st. Yes. Okay. And we'll have tour dates to announce for September. But Yeah, so follow not, us. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. We should everybody. Everybody. Things are happening. Do you guys do the TikTok? We have we have one, but we've been terrible about actually because, yeah, implementing it. We're, we're millennials, so you know. Um, That's a young man's game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I tried; it just didn't work. It, I just couldn't get it. It's I. Yeah, I try to edit, and I'm like, this doesn't make. Am I, I old? Like this doesn't make sense uh-oh. to me. That's where it all starts <laughs> yeah. going downhill. If <laughs> right. you ask yourself that, yeah. you're like, yep. shit. But anytime you want to make content, it's like such an invest investment. Like even if you're good at it, it's just like regularly making content on that. I feel it's got to be your fucking job. It's hard. I don't know. Oh, that's why people yeah. hire yeah. people yeah. to that's do that. That's true too. Well, yeah. I noticed like when I was trying to do it for the podcast, it's like I put out a video with like a list of hashtags. It'd get like seven, eight hundred views. Next day, another video, all the same hashtags. It would get like four. Yeah, it's like a weird algorithm there's, there's thing. No weird, that, there's, like, I couldn't yeah. figure out how to like break that code and get in there. I don't know. It's so sporadic. Yeah, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to any of that. Stupid kids in there. In yeah, the I, can't, I can't deal with that. We we need to hire the bot that wrote my dick is no. And he would he <laughs> figure that out. We just need we just need that song yeah. on TikTok. <laughs> just on loop. My dick is numb. My dick is numb. <laughs> oh my god. Every, every everyone you put out is just your dick is numb. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, well, real quick, we'll give a shout out to our sponsors, Low Fidelic Records oh, hey from Main Street in Belmar. Yeah. Great guys. And of course, Manaferkin Brewery. Oh, can't get to the can. There you go. Manaferkin Brewery. Don't that's, forget. That, that's what we were drinking. Delicious. Yes. Very good. I don't know if this is going to come out by then or not, but uh, July 9th, we're doing a show at Manaferkin Brewery. It's going to be uh, Burns Haver and the Gunsmoke Cinders and Vessels. We'll be taping the whole show, putting it up here on the YouTubes for you guys to watch. And it's going to be a good time. We're going to have food trucks, no cover, lots of good beer. Yeah. <laughs> Yee. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, starting today, we have another new sponsor, True New Jersey. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, they just uh, sent us a little care package with some shirts and koozies and bottle openers and stickers. And Sweet guys. We'll be giving some of that away at the show. And 
Oh, we're giving that away. I'm going to take Some all of it. it. I'm going to keep it for myself. Yeah, I think I should. Well, I'm keeping, I'm keeping the patron saint of New Jersey. Oh uh, well, yeah, you kind of laid claim to that. So yeah, I'll give it. But to uh, you. you could check them out. The it's right up on the screen. True New Jersey. Down on the bottom there, you can see their website. And if you want to get in contact with us, jsmpinfo at gmail.com. And Jeff will get right back to you. I never do. I know, because it's me. <laughs> um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, man. All right. Oh, wait. No, what we got to do is actually, let's have these guys in and do a couple songs. We should bring them in. Let's let's, let's do a couple say, songs. You guys want to do a couple first. songs? We'll do a couple songs. I don't know. Okay. You got to uh, answer the question before they can play the song. Nobody songs. likes your stupid question. Everybody loves the No, question. this one's stupid. Fine, go ahead. Let's see. If there's one singular thing you could change about the local music scene, not this to lead to that, just one singular thing, what would it be and why? Hope. There's none of that. Yeah, well, that's what I would change. Let's get some hope going. That it's going to get better. That's a first. I that's actually, a first. Yeah. I kind of dig it. It gives me a little Star Wars feel. Like, it's cool. Like, here's, here's Luke Skywalker being Happy like our new going. hope. What? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay. What do you think, Jess? Uh, I'd pick one particular band that I didn't care for and remove them. Oh. Name some names. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Like I said, we love talking shit. <laughs> so many that names. That seemed very specific, so <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just... pretty sure that was geared towards <laughs> one thing. The... It I was, seemed personal. I was kidding, guys. Uh, no, we have a great music scene. Mm-hmm. Like we talked about before, 20 years from now. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you're There's okay. got to be one thing you'd want to change. <laughs> I, I mean, unless you'd like paying to play or uh, what's some of the other things? Parking like six blocks away and no, walking your all, gear all to all the that, park. The when you go play at the same, you got to park on the railroad oh, wait, tracks. Wait, wait, wait. Don't worry about that anymore. Parking passes. That oh, that'd makes be nice. sense to me. Yeah. Like, just give the musicians parking passes for like five hours. Mm-hmm. What was another one? A couple other ones we had. Mandatory green room. Yeah, that would be nice. A lot of places don't have that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, the, I mean, at any place, and and granted, we don't we don't take many shows where this isn't a thing anymore. But I think at any place, the band should be drinking for free. At the at the bare minimum. Well, within reason. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, at yeah. least, at least, like a free drink or two. Yeah, yeah. like a couple of drinks. Yep. Because I know I could get a little outrageous. Yeah, I've <laughs> we played at places that will give us free drinks, and that you know they'll tell us stories about bands that go in there and just house it dis- down. Yeah, yeah, they destroy. They destroy them because they drink. and then they play like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's never happened to us. <laughs> I have a feeling you're being facetious. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> now we've had don't, you know no pay to play. One guy was mm. said we put a venue in Ocean County because can you name one singular music venue in the entire Ocean County? Wasn't no. the Tom River High School a music venue? No, it's like a basketball court oh, that they've no, used for shows. She, uh, you no, know what I'm talking, talking about? about uh, North's um, the Taco Center. Yeah, but in the beginning, I mean, they had fuel and, and yeah, but it was still a band. Band. It was still yeah. a basketball yeah. stadium that they used for. That. Oh yeah, but kind of like was... at Monmouth College, Monmouth University. Mm. Does so that's thing. not a thing anymore. No. Nope. So well, and then McIntyre's used oh, to be a music. Yeah, then they moved, and it's not. Yeah, sawmills gone. McIntyre's surf is gone. gone. Surf club's gone. Bamboo's mm. gone. Oh, Jack Bills club. is gone. Um, They're all gone. They're all gone. Every one of them. That's very sad. It mm. is. I even like the Java joint. Oh my God, that's been gone forever. <laughs> I know, but like I have fond memories of watching yeah. music there. Yes, yeah. no, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's all gone. That's cool though. I mean, you know. Maybe, maybe there's stuff happening that we don't know about. Uh, yeah, the like the killer shack or the, the kill shed, the kill shed, whatever. The kill yeah. Shed, yeah. So like that's new to me. I've never heard that, and I've been in this town for a while now. Well, so. now you know. Yeah, I know. Now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna search it out. Yes. Well, it's like that one, the Oasis. I they were doing it for months, and I had no idea. And then a couple of weeks ago, I went to see my buddy's band, Their Vessels, and I was like, I'm like, holy, they're doing this. Like yeah. they're set up on the little deck in the backyard. Kids are running everywhere, playing on a swing set mm-hmm. next see, to the band. Again, things aren't as bad as you guys think. Oh, it's, oh, it's you're just too <laughs> optimistic. You haven't gotten beaten down enough yet, my friend. I know, I know. Give it time. <laughs> um, yeah, because I can't. Like, there was that whole VFW that. Like, I can't do mm-hmm. that. I just, I, you know. Well, yeah, wasn't there like that? 
Oh, no, I guess that was more Manchester. Never yeah. Mind. Yeah. Oh, that like yeah. little. Um, so like it's club. just but like I noticed that everywhere, whether it was up in uh, North Jersey to wherever. And I'm like, I've been to like one or two and I'm like, this isn't this is stupid. Like, I get it. It's cool for a 15 year old or something like that to mm-hmm. go do that. <sighs> when you're sitting there as all right, if you're going to be on the floor you might as well get paid because now you're no different than a barroom band. Mm. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Like as an original band, get on the fucking stage. All bands should be getting paid. That's one thing that I like. All right, that's the one thing about the music scene. All bands should be getting paid. Something, yeah. Something. Something, Not Not $30 for the entire band. I'm talking (laughs) like a few hundred dollars because Mm -hmm. I see bands not make any money and there's people at the bar drinking. I know that bar's making money. So like you could spare a little... Yeah, that's Little it's the cash. game. It's the game to these guys. Like it's because they're not in it for the music. They're no. in it to make money. Well, if we should stand up for ourselves and be like, all right, well, you're what do you you just want cover bands? <laughs> they're going to charge you two thousand dollars, and then and then what? But they're going to bring the millionaires a bunch of people will go there, there and spend more money than the average Joe. Yeah, people are going to get tired of it. I'm telling you, people like original music. All right, so it is June of 2023. So I would love it if you guys came back. Next year or a year after? Something like that. And let's just see where we all are at. Okay. All right. Because I, <laughs> I know how the cover band thing is going to work around there. So, <laughs> well, a prime um, example, look at Seaside Heights. Like, yeah. You used to be able to play tons of places out yeah. there. Now it's nothing nothing but cover bands. EJ's does original stuff like here and there, but that's really about it. Mm-hmm. That's so sad. Yeah. It's all about the money. And we spend plenty of time on the boardwalk playing until two o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. on a Tuesday night playing mm-hmm. covers. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To me, it's soulless. You know, mm-hmm. it's the you know you don't, I don't get nothing out of it playing other people's music. We'll, we'll do anything for money. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say you just you get. <laughs> We're going to put this on the internet so somebody might test that. <laughs> Be like anything. That's, huh? that's, what, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're going to be standing there one day. Somebody's going to be like, bend over and touch your toes. I'm going to show you where the wild goose goes. What movie is that from? Uh, Super Troopers. Is this Super Troopers? Yeah. That's a great movie. So, all right. Um, how about we're going to get a song or two out of you guys? You want to play? Maybe yeah. three. Maybe three. Maybe three. Yeah, maybe three. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thank yes, you for thank having you. us. It's been a good time. And, uh, We'll see you guys in two weeks on the next episode of the Jersey Shore Musicians Podcast. Okay. (laughs) Right, right. Okay. Uh, Uh, This song's song's called called, uh, Spilled Spilled Coffee. Coffee. It's not that hard.